Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We're just about to get into our part two of today's Overwatch Collegiate Championship, and we saw the Saints have an amazing first game up against Boston University, and now we get to see them go up against the University of Missouri. So I'm excited to see if they will have the same kind of success that they had with against Boston. Yeah, absolutely. It should be really interesting to see how these teams match up. Uh, Mizu, we did get, we did learn the results of their last match, and they also actually took Ooh. their first match in 3-0 fashion. So both teams starting really strong today, and we'll have to see which one comes out standing on top at the end of this. Yeah, both teams seemingly on a hot streak right now, but this has happened time and time again. We ha no one can stay on the top forever. Now someone will have to break in. Will the Saints? Will this be the day that they lose their first? game that's the question we're all asking ourselves here yeah. I, th I think it'll definitely be interesting especially looking at the Saints side because you know the first map we saw them come in like we kind of mentioned they weren't quite playing at their full power right out the gates right no. maybe that was just because they were still getting warmed up maybe it was because they were underestimating their opponent we not we're not really sure what it was but the first when they first got into it it was a little closer right so what I want to see here is I want to see them come out swinging I want to see them like just you know, giving it their all right off the bat as soon as they get in lobby, you know, to just really kind of make a statement here. Because I'm sure that's what Mizzou is going to be trying to do as well. And like we kind of saw with Boston, that, that can sometimes get a little bit slippery. So you just, I, I want to see them just give it their all and really just show us what they have to offer right out the gates. Yeah, I'd like to see Saints have also a good run out of the gate as well. Oh, going up against Mizzou, though, I'm worried that they might let their guard down a little bit. I think they're high, riding the high of the confidence of the last last game so I think they need to play very carefully very intelligently and it looks like they're gonna do so this is a very typical comp they're not doing anything out of the ordinary and already seeing some engagements out of the gate yeah definitely and Mizzo they're actually gonna be running the classic Risa comp where St. Clair they're gonna be on the Winston now we did see this get played a little bit on this point before uh, in our match yesterday where Toronto Defiant played against M80 and in that match it looked like the Arisa comp was definitely taking the upper hand and right away it's actually gonna be backstab taking the first pick there as Noxious gets taken out. Backstab is actually a former teammate of Redix's. Uh, so it'll, it's interesting to see how these two will be able to kind of read into each other's play styles. But Mizu, you know, you look at the names on this roster, these are not bad players at all. Clairvoyant and Backstab, but especially they are players that have been around the scene for a long time. So those are definitely going to be the people you want to keep an eye for. Yeah, those are the people to look out for. And already, Mizu already had in control at this point. The Saints still trying to contest and trying to turn the tides. But Tommy saw lobby keeping everybody up and well fed here in the back as we see yeah squeak is going to be going in and it looks like nosh is going to try and follow up but they do have to disengage they're just not able to find the cooldowns force they needed but now crime he has a fully charged rail gun he's looking for an angle takes the shot not quite going to be able to find the head but there we do have the suzu being forced out so now this is going to be saints kind of opportunity to see if they can maximize on that cooldown squeak is going to be the one to jump in so it's going to be trying to follow up and it is going to be a pick coming through for saints as gambit goes down now mizu is going to respond with the katsune rush of their own and Saints is going to mirror as both Katsuna Rush is being played here on the field. Squeak goes very low, but he does get kept up and it is going to be the flip coming through here for Saints as now they're just going to be cleaning up. Beautiful engage there from the side of St. Clair. Call them the generous because they're the cleanup crew picking them all up, picking up all the trash and now <laughs> Squeak is moving on in, but Mizzo got a really good chunk of progress on there. They're not to be trifled with, but now Saints are in control and they have the alt advantage currently, so these next few fights are going to be absolutely crucial. Yeah, they do have a small ult advantage, but Mizu is right there as they almost have the overclock and the Terra Surge there coming from Marisa. So it's really going to be about who can force the important cooldowns that need to come out before Saints can engage here. And there's Suzu going out, and we do see one Arisa cooldown coming out, and Crime is actually going to find the better of Backstab Bud there as he gets taken out with the overclock, and now Crime just pushes forward, seeing if he can find a few more picks. A Spear is going to force him back a bit, but it's not going to be enough as he finds the pick under the Lucio as well, and Squeak is right there to make sure the escape is blocked off. Winning that fight with only a single ult is huge for St. Clair. Yeah, massive win for St. Clair. They're just keeping them at bay right now. Mizzo still holding on to these ults because they can't find a good opportunity to use them just right 
but I don't know if that opportunity is going to come. But I think it has to be soon. They need to flip this point in quickly as the Saints are about to break that 70% mark. Yeah, Mizu popping the overclock here. Sos going in deep with the beat, but he gets booped up. Almost gets Ajax, but not quite as Mizu is not going to be able to find that pick. Now the Terra Surge gets committed, but the health bars for Mizu are so low and Squeak with the Primal. He's going to be looking to finish them off. The Kiriko goes low. The Lucio gets taken out as well. And now Noxious is right there to follow up. Gambit is going to be trying to escape, seeing if he can get out with his life. But Saints, they want to put an end to this right here. And now they want to secure the first cap. Mizu, now they're going to be in dire straits as they have to commit someone to the touch. They have to touch and they have to touch real quick. But with the Tracer on the cooldown, it's all going to be on this Echo and the Winston. And the Winston's going in, diving all the way in, trying to burn down Squeak. There's a sound barrier as well. We could be able to contest for quite a while here. They have some health to burn. Squeak trying to keep everybody down, but it's not going to quite work as Clairvoyant takes out Reddix. Yeah, Clairvoyant was actually able to take out Reddix with the help of that sound barrier. So what seemed like a desperation sound barrier is actually going to be really good for Mizu. And, but Saints, they, you know, they recognize that they had Reddix go down, so they're just going to disengage because they know they can come back with the Katsune Rush, and Mizu has nothing. They know that they don't have that Katsune Rush of their own yet, and Reddix is actually going to find the first pick without even needing to use it. Now he's going to pop it. The Suzu has come out already. Squeak is right there to follow up. Picks are coming through for the side of Saints. Mizu, there's nothing they can do. The aggression is just too strong. There's too many abilities, too many ults, and they are, are going to get taken out. The overtime is ticking down, but Mizu, they're all sitting in the spawn room. First point is going to go the way of St. Clair. Yeah, once again, first point going over to St. Clair. Mizu did do a good job at keeping things competitive, but right now, Saints are looking very good going forward. They're looking to take this map 2-0 at this rate. Yeah, absolutely. And, we, you know, I think it, what it all comes back to is uh, the Saints' ability to really kind of tell when they have their green lights, right? They, they see the Suzu, they see the Fortify being used, and they, they do a great job of just going in and committing. And then the Disengage from Mizu, it tries to come through, but Soaks and Squeak, they're doing a great job of kind of kiting around and making sure that the escape route is kind of cut off for them. Yeah, we're seeing a few switch-ups on the side of Mizu. If we're going to lock those in, seeing a switch over to the Cassidy is an interesting pick. Yeah, they are going to kind of go to a more Brawl-centric kind of style here. And it looks like Saints, they're going to just stick with what's working. And, you know, no reason to swap, really. We do have the Tracer coming through, the Tracer cast, and the BAP. That is going to make them, you know, pretty, pretty kind of hard to take out, especially if they get set up there around a good corner, around a good set of cover. And we, as they have the high ground advantage here, they can just kind of lay down pressure and lay down fire as St. Clair try to look for an opportunity to engage. Yeah, they're looking for the opportunity to just jump in right here as Squeak is trying to hammer in on that back line, keep them guessing, keep them uneasy, but now Gambit's going to go in here. Yeah, and Squeak, he knows he can't dive, before. he can't commit a dive until he sees the Ariza cooldowns come out, because if he does, he's just going to get speared back or spun into the his back line. So he needs to play kind of smart, kind of safe. Now Soak's going to be trying to mark the Tracer here on the side. As the point has opened, you can see Squeak trying to jump in, but that Sphere Spin is going to really keep him from getting value. But, uh, you know, with that cooldown being committed to the Winston, Noxious is free to run wild in the back line as he finds two quick picks to start, and Crime is right there to finish it up. Gambit not going to be able to escape either. So a really nice, patient play from Saints. Exactly, beautiful play from the Saints and now they're in control and this is looking even better than the first series so far. The Saints just in absolute control at this point. Mizzo needs to find some angle here. They don't really have the Not ults on to the commit. He almost has a pulse bomb. Right, he does have the pulse bomb. If he can maybe get this on his fourth could be major. Oh. You see the spear lands. Doesn't do all too much, but now Mizzo taking the high ground for this point, trying to find a pick. That's what they need. They need that opening pick to try and open up this point. Yeah, the Arisa comp is really good at responding to the Winston aggression, but the thing is, Winston doesn't need to be aggressive right now because they have the point control. So now Mizzou, they're going to be forced to kind of try and make the first move. They push in with that spear split, but it's not going to find anything. Now Squeak jumps right into the back line. The Pulse Bomb is going to take out the Lamp and Crime. So Squeak, everyone on Saints just goes wild. You can see they just explode explode onto the scene, a team kill coming through. That's how fast they are able to execute these dives. Yeah, and that's our second team kill so far on this point. I have a feeling it's not the last we're gonna see. But looking towards the alt line, Mizzo is looking pretty good, but I don't think that's gonna be good enough to contend with Saints alt line as well. This is definitely looking very advantageous for them. And already we're having another team fight. Yeah, and Saints with four ults here. It is going to be a window beam pop for the side of Mizuba. Squeak with the Katsune Rush is just going to charge right in. And again, picks coming through for the side of St. Clair. The Tracer and Arisa are going to try and get out, but we'll see. The Tracer just not quite able to escape. And now again, 
Mizu, they're being forced into a scenario where they have to touch the point, but Squeak with the Primal Rage is going to be trying to keep that from happening. He's booping the castle all over the place. Is going to force the High Noon. We'll see if Squeak can escape. Anarchy is going to try to touch, not going to make it. Squeak and backstab, but go, both going for a swim there. And yeah, Mizu, they know there's nothing they can do at that point. That's going to be first map done and dusted for St. Clair. What a quick first map for St. Clair. They're just continuing with their win streak from the last series. Just on an absolute complete roll. Now Squeak getting play. What was this play? Is this point one? Yeah, of course it was. It was this first ult. And he just went berserk. I can't believe he got two kills with that. Opening it up for Noxious as well. Beautiful plays all around. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Mizu, they, they looked solid. And we definitely know why the players that they definitely have some skill. But it kind of seems like there's not... Like, I think they need a little bit more kind of of a plan going into these fights like we see the Arisha she's kind of you know pushing onto the point with a spin and then disengaging back around the corner and to be fair to them it is really difficult when you look at the comp that St. Clair are playing right because who do you engage onto the Winston is going to jump out the Soldier's going to slide out Kiriko and Lucio are both you know the best escapists in the game so you know the Tracer might be your best bet try and isolate them with a Magnate but it, they're playing a little bit too passive because they're waiting for St. Clair to engage onto them. And after St. Clair has point control, there's just no need for them to do that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I firmly believe that Mizzo is up there with mechanical skill with the Saints, but the, the, the tactical skill, the, the team synergy is just not there. We didn't see that in this first game. Of, but moving into the next one, it's going to be a payload map that might be a little bit easier for them to perform on. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, I think that if we we do see maybe a more, like, there's a chance we go um, maybe to Hollywood, where mm -hmm. we do see a lot more of the dive central comps being played out. Like, while Saints obviously are very comfortable on the dive comps, as we just saw, it might give uh, Mizu a bit more of an opening as they can just mirror on the dive, rather than kind of having to try and play the Orisa into them. Because while the Orisa can work, especially into the monkey comps, and Orisa generally has an advantage against the Winston... Well, with pretty much abilities that every single one can deny yeah. the Winston Valley, right? <laughs> it, it just, you, you do need to have a solid kind of idea of what it is that you're trying to accomplish with the Orisa. And it seemed like that's kind of what was missing there. So what would you say? What, what exact advice would you give them if you had to give any specifics? Honestly, I would try to flip the map more. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you're up on that high ground. You're kind of, you're putting down damage, which is fine. But you're not really forcing the Saints out of their position. So, you know, Saints are set up on the point. They're set up around the back corner. You have to kind of have take a rotation, force them out, force them into a place where they're uncomfortable. In the process, maybe even force cooldowns. Like, you know, if you speed onto the Kirigo, maybe you force the, uh, the Swift Step. And then from there, then you can actually engage onto them properly. Exactly. And going forward, it seemed like a very typical team comp as well. Like, like they're definitely taking Mizzou as seriously as they can. They're running the most meta comp that they can. But I'm wondering if we're going to see any switch-ups after such a landslide victory. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see as we go into our next map. It is going to be Eichenwald again. So, you know, Saints have... They just demonstrated that they're super comfortable on this map. This could be a bit of a misstep for Mizzou, going to a map that Saints just demonstrated such a great prowess on. And, you know, we're actually not seeing any change coming through from side of them. They're going to continue to run this Arisa comp, which, you know, like we said, on paper, should have the advantage, but they got to make sure that they're playing it properly. Which, to be fair, on this map, this is... Yeah, it's a map that has been studied a lot more. You have a lot more data as compared to something like Samoa, which is a relatively new map in Overwatch. So I think Mizzou will be a lot more comfortable on this map. But right away, we're seeing these Tracers start dueling. And, you know, it's just, it's turned into a huge scrap fest already. Yeah, it's already just a big old brawl fest happening here. Seeing bullets fly left and right. Tom Salami trying to get his echo back up Ooh. the speed there, but he's not going to quite be able to do it. Now, wow, one falls down. There's trades left. And right center. Squeak just barely going to get out with this. Orisa is doing so much damage. It, will he be able to get out here? He's running to his supports, misses the spear on Red X, and he just barely gets out with his life. Yeah, but that's what I wanted to see from Mizu. You know, they, they flipped the map. They kind of forced Squeak out of that position where he wanted to play. Oh, the Suzu just a little bit too late to save Clairvoyant, and it looks like that he's going to force a reset here as Noxious comes back with a vengeance. But that plan was executed far better, and you could actually see that there was a plan in place as opposed to what we saw on Samoa. Exactly. And now, unable to secure that first tick, that's going to be a major letdown for Mizzo. They burned a lot of time. There are a lot of resources into that one push. Yeah, Reddick's doing a great job, though, having already built the Kitsune Rush. So there's a chance we see this laid down straight through the choke. St. Clair, maybe they try to cut off the rotation. Mizzou, they're only going to have a Pulse Bomb to rely on for the moment. 
don't even have a pulse bomb, but a well placed pulse bomb could be what they need to flip oh, this one. But no. Noxious taking out the the support is gonna be a major thorn in their side. Yeah, you can't be letting a pick like that happen if you're Mizu. Like, you know, you need your Lucio to be able to engage onto these high mobility characters. And uh, I'm honestly amazed that that pick even came through. But now St. Clair, they're getting close to five ults. Mizu, they finally have started getting ults on the board themselves. But, you know, they really need to make sure they see something good happen. The Tracer is gonna be the first one to push past the choke here. And it is gonna be clairvoyant forcing the jump out from Squeak. So we'll see if they try and force him down. Now Katsune Rush coming out from both sides, but it's gonna be crime with the overclock dealing a lot of damage. Noxious not gonna be able to find the better part of that Tracer 1v1 quite yet. And now the sound barrier from Soaks is gonna be keeping Saints up. Clairvoyant's gonna be trying to cut back. You can see Saints have all jumped onto the back line now. Spear's not gonna find anything. It is gonna force out the Terra Surge. So we'll see if Squeak can escape. He is able to get out. The health bars for Mizu are so low, and we'll see if they can't get them back up. Now Saints have just engaged a bit, but not gonna be quite fast enough as Backstab Bud is able to take out Red X. Now with the Kiriko being down, it's only Lucio heals. You can see Squeak and Soaks both trying to get out, but Crime trades with a pick onto his own as Backstab Bud finds another. Noxious going down. Crime is kind of on his lonesome here. We'll see if he can get out. The Lucio is gonna look to go for him. He's being pressured, but he's staying alive against all odds. Soaks is there to help him out, but is gonna trade his life for it. Now Crime is so low, but no one's there to finish him off. Squeak is now back on the point, holding fast. Gambit finding another pick. Great job from the Mizu DPS to really keep this fight alive. Clairvoyant coming back on the D.Va. Looks like it is going to be what Mizu needs to find the cap this point. Yeah, and they get the cap with some good time to spare. You don't want to lose any more time than that. Now the real journey begins. That payload has started to move. And the D.Va swap is an interesting pick as well, especially in just Winston. Yeah, the D.Va and the Winston, you know, the, the Orisa can be very effective against the Winston, but it seems like St. Clair, the style they were playing was just making it hard for the Orisa to get the values. They were just kind of going straight to the back line and forcing the Orisa to kite back, which isn't what you want to be doing as Orisa. So with the D.Va, you can do that much more effectively, and you can just, while you're not being able to have as much, like, crowd control onto the Winston, you can just punish him in straight damage. Exactly. And now Red X keeping everybody topped up. It looks like Squeak is going to oh. come in here. And nice picks from the supports. They're just picking them all off right now. The Saints are absolutely popping off. Now this D.Va going to have to exit out, jump off the ledge with the Kiriko to regroup. Yeah, that was actually a nice little micro play there. Squeak drop down, forces the Lucio and Tracer to look at him. While they're looking at him, Reddix just walks up behind him. And just a couple quick kunai is going to be all it needs to put an end to that. But now Mizu, they're going to be coming back. They do have a beat. Soaks doesn't have his online quite yet. So the beat will probably be used to respond to the Katsune Rush. We'll see where Reddix decides to lay it down. Noxious in the back line. Now the Katsune Rush comes out. It's going to be going right through the choke. Saints, they try to engage off it. But Mizu, they do a nice job kiting back, but not quite good enough. And Soaks is going to be able to take out Anarchy. Noxious goes low, but he's able to take out that health pack. We'll see if the more picks coming through. But no, all of Mizu has just retreated to the spawn room. So, you know, good on them for not being able, for being able to kind of disengage from that fight cleanly enough that they didn't have to use an ult. Saints are still going to be trying to hold really close. Squeak goes low, though. The Suzu is actually forced. He goes low and didn't quite have that primal, so that's going to be a bit of a misstep for the Saints as now Mizu can kind of really take advantage of that. Yeah, Mizu now just has the opening here, and they're going to push this as far as they can make, and Saints still trying to get that, still trying to do something here, especially oh, on that Tracer, Claire but now Clairvoyant finding chase. one. And now Crime with Crime down. This is going to be a, even a bigger opening for Mizzo to just keep on pushing through. The Saints have to take a fight with that DPS. It's going to be awful for them. Now Red X getting burned down as well. This is a very risky team fight. Yeah, the Suzu did get forced there, but Mizzo are just going to disengage as their Lucio is getting low. They have to kite back just to make sure he stays alive. Now the Primal is going to be used by Squeak here, and the responding the sound barrier being used by Anarchy is going to be enough to keep Mizzo healthy by the looks of it. Backstab Butt did go for the copy onto the Echo, but Squeak made sure to take him out, and now not is going to take out Gambit. Katsune Rush laid down on point there by uh, Tommy Salami. It, may, it might be enough for Mizu to flip this, but not quite as Squeak. Noxious, they're just going all the way forward. You can see just taking out member after member of Mizu. Clairvoyant trying to escape, but Squeak is not going to let that happen. Oh, they're all falling down. Squeak going to be the one to hold the line. And now with only 25 seconds and counting remaining, Mizu needs to make a mad dash for this card. They need to get the touch, they need to push it just a little bit further, or else the Saints will have this one all but one. Now, not yeah. just going in on the Tracer, they're having a duel over this health back here. A little bit of a standstill Ooh. to recharge the TPs, but it's not going to work, as now Noxious just barely gets out. Yeah, and honestly, that was a confidence.
confidence diff right there, because had Gambit tried to go forward, then we definitely would have seen the kill come through. Noxious was so low, but, you know, in that chaos, Mizu, they don't touch point. Yeah, that little duel really stalled out the time and pretty much won St. Clair that first point. I believe that they'll be able to make it. This is... I think it didn't even get as far as uh, Boston brought their cart. Yeah, I believe it stopped uh, just underneath the bridge, if it even made it to the I bridge. Don't, yeah, there. I think it's right before the bridge. Or yep, no, there it is. not even under the overpass. So, Saints, they have their work cut out for them. This is a very defensible position. And Mizu, it definitely kind of seems like they're on the back foot, as, especially when you look at, like, the tank swaps they're making. Like, they start on the Ariza, they go to D.Va, then they mirror the Monkey. They're, they're not they're comfortable. They're coming onto this map without, like, a straight game plan. It looks like, at this point, they're trying to respond to, the state, the, to the, what the Saints are doing. And once you've started playing to the enemy's pace rather than your own, you're already, like, on the back foot, right? You need to be the one who's taking control of the game and if you're if you're responding to them rather than forcing them to respond to you, that means you're not doing that. Exactly, they're not having a great time so far. But maybe maybe they're just a defensive team. Maybe this is where their comp truly shines. But wondering what their last oh, no. DPS is gonna be. Oh no, it's just gonna be the Noxious on Venture. I don't think they're enabled yet. <laughs> no. Oh well. I don't they think didn't that's use it in the game. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, fine. <laughs> Oh, I think I, th I think I know what they're going to do. They're going to place Maywall up on top of the roof, put a TP up there, and then have Squeak charge across. Oh, there it is. Oh, they oh. messed it up. Yeah, they messed <laughs> it up. Oh, well. You know, they might as well lose the game You can see backstab now. button in the chat there. He, he knew what they were going for as well. He saw it. <laughs> he saw it happen. <laughs> and now, with that flubbed up, it's all in Mizzou's hands to take the reins right here. What will the Saints do? We see a quick swap back over the Winston, the more comfortable pick. Yeah. Nox just says they patched it, but I have a feeling it was just a skill yeah. issue. The, the Arisa comp should work much better here on the defense for them, because, you know, they, on the defense, the Winston is going to be forced to dive into you, but as I say, that Crime is going to be the one to open the fight with a pick on to Anarchy. So now the Lucio being gone, it's a big positioning advantage being gone, and Noxious is just going to go straight forward onto that Arisa and follow up the quick pick. Crime finds another. Squeak is right there to help out as well. It's just going to be Gambit left alive here. You know, maybe maybe it was a it was a distraction tactic. You know, the mind games. That's that's what it was. <laughs> the mind games, but already Saints, another five minute cap. Just getting it within the first few seconds. The first attempt, really. They don't even need multiple tries for that point and already this oh, anarchy. is moving. He got so low there and as soon as he went low, the rest of the Saints were just right there to capitalize on it, getting taken out. Now it looks like Mizu is going to be able to capitalize on the Saints getting aggressive for that pick onto Lucio so the trade does go in their favor. We'll see if it's enough. It's Noxious is actually still over here in Mizu's back line. Let's see if he's able to make it out and it looks like he is. Barely gets out here, but Noxious, he bursts it down just barely, but he d manages to get out and live. That's the Tracer diff at that point. And now Saints are already encroaching on this first point, on winning this entire map, as Mizzle yeah. didn't take it too far. They just need to get around that corner, and they are getting closer by the second. Squeak is going to be the one to jump in first. He's going to look to try and force either the Suzu or the Swift Step, but not quite going to be able to find it yet, as Tom Salami is able to just slip out of there. He goes low and is actually taken out, so Squeak maybe getting a little over eager there. Didn't quite have the rest of the Saints there to back him up as usual, but Mizu is going to be looking to take advantage of this. It's actually going to be Soaks using the sound barrier, so they still want to fight this despite not having their main tank. We'll see if it's enough. Noxious goes in but gets taken out by Gambit. Crime, though, is over here. He goes for the dead eye, finds a couple skulls, but they are just going to try and kite away. Oh, yeah, he keeps nobody. on holding it, just wait for someone to peek. And he is actually going to take out Backstab, but went out a little bit too soon. Now we have both Katsune Rushes being laid down onto the field. Clairvoyant is going to have that Primal Rage, and he's in the back line. Takes out Crime, takes out Soaks. Clairvoyant coming alive when his team needs him most. Great job. Yeah, back from the brink. They just barely managed to keep this game alive. The Sombra out there for one final push, but it doesn't come through. And now things are just looking a little bit rough for the Saints, but they only have to bring it a little bit further. Yeah, they are. And as we say that, Soaks is actually going to be the one who get it right oh, close to that box. He is going to be forced out, but they're within five meters now. Mizu, though, they do have a good set of ults. They have the sound barrier. They have the copy. Whereas Saints, they have nothing. It's it's clean slate on the board for them, right? So Mizu, with a little bit of proper play, they should be able to chain this into a snowball, and they should be able to set up a good hold for themselves. They just need to be careful right now about, you know, losing any unexpected picks to quick dives coming in. Yeah, but this is getting so close. It's 0.9 meters away. They 
almost got the ninja touch, but they couldn't do it. As Missile's just sitting there waiting for the contest, and now we're having a big old brawl up there on that overpass. Yeah, Backstab Bud is going to start things off with a copy onto the cast. He's going to be looking for picks, gets close to that Deadeye, and it is going to provide a good bit of pressure here. He does find the pick onto Crime, and it's going to be enough for Mizu to kind of stabilize here as Backstab goes back in, finds Sos with the Sticky Bombs. Now only three members of Saints left. They're probably going to want to try and disengage, but actually, I could have sworn I heard a Katsune rush come out there, but I guess not. Oh, well, sometimes our minds play tricks on us as Backstab Bub is bringing out all the tricks to take down the Saints, getting two kills, pretty much holding the oh, team squeak. off single-handedly. And Squeak being bursted down once again by all three of those dynamic duo, the DPS and the tank, doing so much work to keep themselves in this. Yeah, it looks like Mizu have finally settled into a bit of a comfort comp, but there is also the fact that Noxious is on the Sombra, and you know, while Sombra can be a very effective pick, especially in ranked, not sure if it's getting them the value that they're looking for here, as Mizu, they just seem to be able to take better angles, and Sombra doesn't provide that quick burst damage that they need in the middle of these fights, and the hacks just can't be found as either, as you know, Mizu, their aggression is so good that it doesn't even give the opportunity for hacks to come through. The Suzu being used is just going to solidify the fight even more as all of Mizu is combining to take out the Saints now. And However, over. Saints getting close to four ults, so there is a chance we just see a full ult fight on the board next fight. Yeah, I think that is what they need. I think that's the committal, but if that four ult fight fails for them, they don't have all too much time left. They have a minute 30 left on the clock to bring this one all the way home. It's just yeah, a question. If Prime gets the pulse bomb, we, there's a good chance we see five volts versus five volts here. So we could see some big chaos happening. We could see some big chaos happening indeed. We're seeing Backstab Bud once again. They don't really have anything to deal with this echo up in the air. That's where the fight is starting. Both support ults being used there by Saints, and it's going to be Mizu responding with a sound barrier of their own. The EMP comes out, but it's not going to be enough as Clairvoyant is going to trade to take out Noxious. He is hacked, but Squeak with the Primal Rage is going to be trying to find picks, but he just can't find anything. He does finally find the Kiriko, and Crime is actually going to be able to take out Backstab with the Pulse Bomb, so Saints, despite a bad start, it looks like they still might be able to turn this around, but as Gambit takes out Crime, it looks like it's not going to be quite enough as Mizu, they're able to put their foot down, and and Saints, they used their five ults, but Mizu didn't. They still held on to three, so there is a chance we see the hold come through. Yeah, this hold could come through from Mizo as the Saints are just barely within Redix a hair Oh, he gets taken out. Oh, their Saints have to disengage. They cannot take this fight without the Kiriko, especially now that Noxious has gone down. Squeak might try to C9 this, but I think that's an ill-advised idea, seeing where that Kiriko is positioned on the card. If he gets found, though, this could turn into a disaster. Yeah, this could be a disaster. Very risky play. 15 seconds seconds left on the board. Is there anyone who can touch right here? They need to get in the position now. Looks like he's going to go for it. He gets the touch. He's going to bring a little bit of progression here. Now, he just needs to win this duel. And there's the copy coming out from the Echo. Yeah, the copy Winston is going to be coming out. Backstab goes straight for the back line. It is going to get taken out by Crime, though. So that's the copy off the field. But Backstab Budger signs with a quick pick using the Sticky Bombs. Crime going down. Now a 5v4 in Mizu's favor. And they still have their Primal Rage online as it gets popped by Clairvoyant after he takes out Red X. Noxious going down as well. So Mizu, it looks like they're in complete control. Saints are on the back foot. And as I say that, the last member goes down. Mizu are going to be able to find the hold and take our second map. We have a wow. game on our hands. Yeah, we certainly do. What a Come back from Mizzo. The Saints, look like they had that one in the bag. It was just a little bit further, and they just could not get that last little push as Mizzo just locked in there, especially backstab Bud. I just mean props to him. He took out so many of the Saints time after time after time, and they just could not deal with it. Yeah, doing a great job there with the copies. Even when the copies themselves didn't find value, they managed to force out of really important resources that he was then able to follow up out of copy with the sticky bombs, with the focusing beam. And, it, you know, there were a lot of times where he was the one finding the first picks, and Mizu, they did a great job capitalizing on that. And Clairvoyant mirroring the Winston seemed much more comfortable. Oh, yeah, for sure. The Winston mirror, that is when it got kicked into high gear. The Saints also had all the time in the world to push this payload. Like, they did not get stopped on that first point at all. Yep. But Mizzo just locked in I, for that last point. I do have to say, though, you know, it... It'd be erroneous to not point out that Saints, they weren't running the comps that we would no. have expected them to see. No, right? they that switched Sombra, it up in that half that point. Sombra the Sombra was, bit, was an awful pick. Yeah, the Sombra and then playing the cast, it, you know, it kind of seemed like they were playing Mystery Heroes a little bit there. And 
It definitely didn't help them. We'll just say that. The cast was all right. If you wanted to deal with that echo, you need some hit scan in there. But they just they, they should have ran this soldier in against all the shields. There's so much you could have done there. And you just needed something to get with that echo. Because I think that echo was the main point of contention there. Of course, the rest of the team played very well. But... They had nothing to do with it. They had some machine guns. So the best they had was the Winston railgun yeah. shot, but that's not going to do all too much. You got to be very accurate with that. Yeah, and you know, what well, crime was, you know, he uh, historically we've seen Tracer be fairly effective against Echo because you can go. All you have to do is wait for Echo to not have the flight online, and when it comes to the ground battle, Tracer nine times out of ten they're going to be winning that, right? But you know. Unfortunately, Gambit on the Zeus side, he was doing a great job of marking crime and taking these 1v1s, which allowed Backside Bud to kind of be free. Because like we said, then that would have left it to Noxious to kind of be the one to take the initiative of taking the duel against the Echo. But Sombra isn't quite as effective against Echo as the Tracer is because... You know, you you have like the hack, which you, you can could kind of go get for, the hack, but it's hard. But yeah, especially in the way that backside boat was playing. You know, very close to the Winston, very close to the supports, and you have that Kiriko to cleanse any hacks that do come through. It's very hard to get the maximum value from the Sombra that you need. So you're essentially left just fighting. Um, you know, in the neutral, you you know you have your your virus to throw and you have your SMG, but Echo's just going to throw down the stickies. And more importantly, if Echo starts getting the upper hand, Echo can actually chase down the translocator very effectively. You throw it up in the air, Echo flies right mm -hmm. up. You throw it to the side, Echo dashes there, right? So it's the, the Sombra just it, it, it's a confusing pick to me. Yeah, that I think was the thing that kind of made it all crumble apart. Of course, the Saints just lost some momentum as well. A few messy plays here and there. Mizo just playing so well. You got to hand it to them. They just played the better game there in the end. But now, going into this next map, it's all up in the air now. I'm wondering how this one's going to go. Yeah, we do have confirmation that our next map is going to be Esperanza there on push. All and right. I, I'm kind of curious about this because Esperanza, you can run the Orisa, but it, it is very much a strong Winston map, right? You have the high grounds that you can jump to, you can drop down onto the bot as it pushes through under the archway. So if if we're going to a Winston mirror, do Saints start sweating here a bit? Because they just lost the Winston mirror. Yeah, I don't know how the Winston mirror is going to go. I say that it's still in the Saints' hands. Maybe we see them play the Orisa into the Winston mirror because we saw that... Didn't have the success on the side of Mizzo, but I believe I've seen it before. The Saints have done that comp very well. Yeah. Now, we do have word that one of the players needs a quick break, so we're going to be tossing it to a quick five-minute break while we wait for all of our players to get ready, but then we will be back, and we're going to see what's in store for us because these teams look like they're cooking. Exactly. We'll see you then.
Hello everybody and welcome back and after a landslide start to that second game the Saints somehow had it fall through their fingers through a little bit of some weird decision making skills but now going into this third map they need to try and lock this one in. Saints were getting a little creative with their comps, and, you know, I think we saw that right from the start of their attack round with their, their attempt to uh, uh, Maywall, SimTP, Reinhardt <laughs> yes, charge over yes. the high ground. Uh, a famed strat that didn't quite work out for them, but, you know, Saints, hopefully they'll be able to come back and really put their best foot forward, and it does look like we are going to be seeing the Winston Mirror like we discussed. So, on Eichenwald, it was Mizzou taking the better end of this, but Saints, I'm sure they want to prove that they have what it takes to come out on top. Yes, they're looking to prove something in here they want to regain just the absolute assured win they should have had in that last game they need to grab it back right now now we've gotten over the bo robot it's going to be unlocked just yet so far no picks have come through but right now it's at the position it's looking a little bit better from the saints we have someone on the back line but just with the winston Ooh. cops that can change so quickly yeah gambit getting low there is noxious looks to hunt him down crime is very low though we'll see if anyone can finish him off they're not quite going to be able to backstab blood is going to slide out but soaks is right there to make sure he gets finished off now clairvoyant is going to be forced to back out as the health bar gets low. The rest of Saints, they want to make sure these stragglers can't escape for free as they're pushing forward. Soaks and Noxious both right there. Reddick's going to be moving the car, and that's going to be Squeak able to take out Tommy Salami, so able to prevent that escape. Anarchy going low as well, and Reddick's finds another pick. Mizzou, the disengage not quite working out in their favor as now they've been staggered pretty significantly. Yeah, very significantly, and now crime is on the rally with the rest of the team. They're gonna make some good progress. We saw how well that last push map went. We're gonna have to see if they can pull that off once again. Yeah, Mizzou are just going to be trying to look for an opening here, though. Saints up on that high ground, they do have such a great overlook to see where Mizzou is trying to go. Squeak is going to be engaging here with a jump, and Clairvoyant responds with a jump onto the back line of his own. But Noxious with a one clip onto Tommy Salami. That's going to be a great way to open up the fight. Clairvoyant getting taken down as well. Saints, they, they just they capitalized on Mizzou's kind of engage there. They were caught unawares in the back line by Noxious, and it was just disaster struck. Exactly, it's a disaster struck for Mizzou, but right now things are not looking too bad for the Saints. They get the checkpoint relatively uncontested, and now they're going to continue making this progress, but this looks like this is the big team fight for Mizzou. Yeah, in the meantime, the, where we were talking there, Gambit was able to find a pick onto Red X, so that's enough to force the Saints to kind of back out. Mizzou are going to kind of equalize. A quick jump, though, coming from Clairvoyant is going to force out that recall. We'll see if it's going to force a disengage as well, but no, it's going to be Mizzou who actually go kite back to the cart. Now ults online for the side of St. Clair. Very close. Primal Rage is going to be the first one to come out, but it's not going to be the fun to find the pick as Crime is going to be taking out Gambit. Now Backstab Bud is getting chased down and Squeak is going to be able to secure that kill as well. Noxious making sure Clairvoyant is not able to see the light of day either as a team kill coming out there from the side of St. Clair. What looked like a really solid first engage there from Mizzo has a quick response from St. Clair to flip it on its head. Exactly. Now things are looking good for St. Clair. They have a lot of alts online. They have every alt they want online. Yeah. But so does Mizzo. Mizzo, they're getting close to that B. So gets taken out low. We'll see if it forces the B. He's actually going to hold on to it. Great patience. It is going to be used. There it is now. Squeak with the help of the Katsune Rush is going to go in. Finds one, finds two. He's going to be looking for a third. The Suzu is used. But then the Swift Step is going to be enough to help them survive. Squeak it is as he's going to back off. But the point control is still in Saint's favor. Now Clairvoyant charging in with that primal, seeing if he can force them back. But still, Mizzou, they just don't have the numbers. They can't fight this yet. No, they can't fight it just yet. And with the Saints having the threat of both DPS ults, they really don't want to push too far in. If that Tracer gets into the back line, oh. takes one out. But that's a big pick from Backstab. Yeah, Backstab and Gambit are going to combine to find their counterparts, as now Squeak is going to be left alone here on point. He's going to be trying to escape. But if Mizzou are able to find him, it could be a huge opportunity. It looks like he is going to get to that health factory. Yeah, Reddick's there to help him as well. Now, point control is in Mizzou's favor, but Saints they might be able to find another recontest before it even gets to the center point. And it looks like we are going to see Mizzo trying to go around the back here, looking for picks, but neither team wanting to engage quite yet. However, a pulse bomb being used by Noxious, not going to find anything quite yet. Now Mizzo have the ults on their side. The overclock coming out from Prime, and Backstab Bud responds with one of his own. The beat from Anarchy is going to be good. It is going to give them the sustain they need, and Backstab is going to find the better part of that matchup as he finds Crime. Reddix goes down as well. Now Squeak is going to be seeing if he can take down Backstab Bud. It's going to be Noxious to finish off that pick, but the pick's coming through from Mizzou are just better, and they're going to be finally able to take point control. 
Yeah, now they have point control. They're finally starting on their progression journey here. And this is looking to be a lot, a much more competitive push map than the last. And here we are. Mizzo still has the Kitsune Rush on board. All the Saints have to try and fight against that is the sound barrier. So we have two support See, Squeak is actually just walking up. He doesn't even need to commit the jump quite yet. He's just walking, and it's enough to be able to force Gambit away. Force him very low as well. Now the Kitsune Rush coming out from Tommy Salami is, is going to try and find a pick. The Swift Step going to keep him alive. But Squeak has that primal. He needs to chase down, and it's actually going to be the beat being used by Soaks as well. Squeak dives in, takes a bit of space, but not quite able to find the pick. Mizu staying alive for the moment. Clairvoyant is going to have that primal. He is going to pop it there. He's going to be trying to isolate Red X, who goes so low and does finally get taken out. So now the man advantage for the side of Mizzo. They're seeing if they can find Soaks as well. Uh, however, Crime is actually going to be dealing some sick damage as Clairvoyant gets taken out, but backs that budget response one of his own. This Gambit took out Noxious as well in that fight. Squeak is going to force the primal, but it might be too little too late as Mizzo, they're looking to stay alive and healthy. He's going back to the point and is going to be able to contest, but you can see he can't stay long as he just has to jump out. And Gambit actually out of nowhere finds a pulse bomb onto Crime. Yeah, this is looking very good for Mizzo. Sure, they're still down in progression, but they're taking these team fights very, very well. Just disrupting the back line, forcing these Saints to make these impossible choices of what to do. Do they give up some progress or do they try and save their team? It's not a good choice to make. And right now, Mizzo looking very good as long as they can get some progression. Yeah, the problem is neither team has won a fight cleanly enough to really claim dominant control over this center part of the map. Now Noxious is in the back. He has a pulse bomb. He's going to be hunting. Soaks is actually going to be able to take out Anarchy, finding the better end of the Lucio duel there. Now Tom Salami goes to take it very low. His crime is going to just go in. Pick coming through. Clairvoyant is going to try and trade out, but it's not going to be enough as he gets taken out shortly after. Gambit still barely alive and holding on, trying to escape. But Saints, they are once again in control of this area and just going to be moving the cart forward. Yeah, they're going to keep on moving this thing forward and... There's still well, someone on that back line. Look at this. Saints are hunting him down. The pings are coming through. <laughs> they are all the way in Mizzou's spawn right now in an effort to take out Gambit. But could that end up being a mistake? As Backstab Blood is actually going to be the one to take out Crime. Oh. Pulse Bomb gets thrown, but not going to find anything. Squeak is able to take out Anarchy, so it keeps the numbers even here. But the positioning is in favor of Mizzou at the moment. Gambit goes low. He's going to have the Pulse Bomb come online here, but he gets chased down. Not going to get the chance to use that. Squeak just stomps him with that jump. But while they're just occupying the trace of the rest of the team is pushing forward this spot, removing any progress from the Saints. They're just going to go right back to them as they're forced back off. Yeah, but once again, Squeak just jumps right back up to that high ground clairvoyant. He's going to be taken out a half HP, but is able to escape. Now we can see Crime's going to have the overclock. Actually, four ults coming online for the side of Saints. Mizzo are going to mirror that with four ults of their own. We'll see who can find the advantage first. Clairvoyant is going to go straight onto the back line. He's going to force the slide, but now Backstab Blood is going to be using the overclock. Four ults coming out from both sides. We have the beat. We have the Kizuna Rush. Unfortunately, it's going to be Crime going down to Backstab Blood's ult, but now Squeak has Clairvoyant locked up here in the room, but the Suzu and and the Kirigo healing, it might be enough to keep him alive as he gets taken lower and lower, but Squeak not quite able to find it. In the meantime, Backstab Bud actually gets taken out by Red X, and Clairvoyant is going to escape with his life, but now Noxious coming around on this other angle here. He's going to be looking for the pick onto Tommy Salami. He goes so low, but it looks like he's able to escape and get healed up again. Now Clairvoyant are going to be looking for Red X. We have the Primal being popped, but is it going to be able to trap anyone up? It looks like not quite. He's going to be chasing Red X, but a nice boop is going to keep him alive for the time being. But now the Kirigo going so low, and it looks like actually Soaks was, it was taken out there. Uh, Vi must have just gotten hit off the map, not able to find the wall ride. But, you know, as we say that, both picks. Oh, oh. an insane stick from Noxious. That's going to be what St. Clair needs to get the advantage. Uh, as I say that, though, Noxious gets completely taken out. So, again, both these teams back on equal footing. Neither one really finding a solid fight win. Yeah, but the Saints still making the progression count. They're at the doorstep of the push. And they just need to bring this object just a little bit further. And they're already nearing at Mizzou spawn. Yeah, and we are seeing Backstab back on the Echo now. So this, you know, he's on the hero that pretty much won them that Eichenwald game. So we'll have to see if he starts finding more value now. You can see Tommy Salami getting close to another Kitsune rush. And Mizu, they are going to be starting to walk this spot back. St. Clair, they don't have any else quite online yet. But Red X also very close to that Kitsune. So both the Kirikos here, it's going to be very much in their hands to see how these next couple fights play out. Gambit with a Pulse Bomb is going to be looking for an opening. He's going to have to be careful of that Pulse Bomb getting uh, Suzu. And it's going to be Red X to open up with the first Kitsune rush. But he gets taken out quickly by Gambit. But the Kitsune rush value is already 
already found is Soaks and Noxious combined to take out one. Gambit finds his second one of the fight, though, so is that going to be enough to try and turn this around? Both the DPS kind of isolated here on the side. They're going to be seeing if they can maybe take some of these members out. Crime goes low. It's going to be tried to chase down, and they they do. They are able to find it. Noxious takes out Backstab, and, and he, you know, he finds another one as well. Noxious coming in clutch right when they need him, but, you know, the, the members of Nizu, they keep coming back. It is actually going to force the Primal, so Saints, despite the fact that they keep losing members, despite the fact that Mizzle has spawn advantage, they want to keep pushing this. Yeah, they want to keep pushing this, and nice play on Red X, dragging the Winston down in that basement, and then using Swift Stone to get away, and now Saints not in a position to push, but they're in a position to make an exit. Yeah, now Noxious with a Pulse Bomb of his own, Soaks with the Sound Barrier. Anarchy is going to have a Sound Barrier to respond. Well, oh, Red X get taken very low there, but Suzu is going to be able to keep him alive. You can see there's so many ults on the field here. Mizzou just needs a good opening to use them. And Clairvoyant's going to be diving in, seeing if he can uh, maybe isolate or split. And then Red X does go down, so that's exactly what he wanted to find. Now he does have the Primal. It's going to be used. And they forget to touch the point. Oh no, a C9 comes through. Yeah. For the Saints. <laughs> I, you know... I, I didn't bother even pulling attention to it because I was like, surely the Tracer, the like the Lucio, someone's going to get there. But um, yeah, that's a, that's a organic C9 right there. It happens. And now with that, just ignoring the objective, St. Clair goes up 2-1 against the Mizzo. An amazing... Amazing showing from both sides. Saints always very consistent on these push maps. Mizzo unable to get footing, but they could have possibly brought it back. It, it was definitely very back and forth. Like there were so many times in in that game where neither team was really finding a like you know like let, let's compare it to the first couple games where we saw so many team kills coming through, right? We didn't really see. I don't think we saw a single team kill come through. So that kind of points out. The I fights, think we saw one from the we Saints might have early seen on. One, yeah, but the fights are getting they're a lot more drawn mm -hmm. out. They're getting a lot messier. So what that tells me is Mizzou they're doing a much better job of drawing this out. They're not getting picked as much. So now they've got they've got kind of the first step down. They're not dying to St. Clair. So now they just need to start finding picks of their own to really start finding and putting the advantage in their favor. Exactly. They need to start to find the weaknesses in St. Clair's armor. But now going into potentially our final map, Mizzo has a lot on the line here. They have a lot to lose. You don't want to take a loss, especially in this bracket. You've worked so hard to get here. And the Saints really want to keep defending this flawless reputation they built yeah. up for themselves. And it should be noted, like, you know, it, this is potentially a final map, but that push map, the fight that they see nine, it started with Clairvoyant finding a pick on oh, Reddit. Sure. They, they're too aggressive. <laughs> that is, yeah, losing the Kiriko is huge, right? So there was a very good chance that we see the a fight win come in off the back of that and potentially maybe an overtime push because it, it, it would have been hard. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. it, one might even say unlikely. But possible. That's the key. Exactly. It would have been like if they got the halfway point, then they could have maybe pushed it even a little further, a little further. Saints didn't have it like all the way. They just had it approaching that first alleyway that leads yep. to the end. But yeah. so now, it was definitely winnable. We do have word that our next map is going to be Suravasa for oh. the push maps. So I think the push map is going to be very interesting because for the past two maps, the maps that we've seen be very, or sorry, Flashpoint, not push. Yeah, I was going to say, I was gonna say back to back push. Yeah. That's crazy. I had the right map. <laughs> <laughs> the right game type, but it's going to be even worse once Clash gets added. Yep. Um, but Flashpoint is going to be interesting because the, the maps that we seem to be very close are maps where Dive works, right? We have High Ground, we have Winston Comps, uh, you know, Echo's a little bit viable, whereas Servasa, not quite. Uh, well, you can run the Winston, but it's very much a oh. ground-based uh, ground map. Right? And now we're seeing Saints run the Winston, like you said, so they're looking to prove you wrong. You know, Mizzo yeah. seemingly and, is taking your advice. Yeah, and for Saints, it's, it's, it makes perfect sense, right? Like, they, they've been, other than Arkenwald, they've been seeing great success on the Winston, so they have no reason to swap off it at this point. So Mizzo, they're going to be the one that need to really show up here with the Orisa comp. As, so, since we've seen the Orisa comp, come out a few other times it hasn't worked out great for them so they need something it maybe it is just a matter of the map being better that will be enough to make a difference for them but we definitely want to see them get value especially from that Arisa being able to control squeak 
exactly. And that's what we're seeing already. Clairvoyant moving in, but already diving out, not finding Ooh. too many good opportunities here. Noxious almost finding an early pick, but not quite. Yeah, Noxious and Gambit locked in a duel here on the sides of the point. Gambit is going to try to get out here, and yeah, Noxious is going to put a little bit of pressure down from the side. But you can see his O playing very slow. They, they want to push forward, but they're just not. They, they keep playing in this kind of no man's land. And no Noxious is actually going to want to find the first pick as Gambit gets taken out. And, you know, again, Mizzo, they're just. Like, there's just nothing really happening. They walk back, they walk forward, they walk back, and the whole time Saints are just shooting them and just kind of whittling them down because once they have point control, that's all they need to do. And unlike the other point objective maps, this one's moving so quickly. We're already at 30%. This only has like one or two more big fights left in them to try and take this one. And when looking at the alt advantage, Noxious, this pulse bomb could be major. Yeah, he, he, you can see him just kind of hiding around the corner there. But we need to see some good aggression coming in from Mizzou. They can't keep playing around this choke forever and just looking for a pick at range. Gambit is going to be able to take out Soak, so maybe that's the opening that they need. But Clairvoyant gets taken super low. He has to disengage and get healed. And while he's disengaged, that per point percentage is still taking up for the side of the Saints. Now, finally, a push coming through. Redix is going to be using the Katsune rush. And uh, Thomas Salami responds with one of his own. Squeak finding the pick, though, onto Anarchy. So Mizzou is going to be a little bit crippled at the moment. As you can see, Soak just runs right back and takes out some Pilami. The supports for St. Clair showing up in the kill feed. Squeak as well. So, you know, Mizzou, they just played too passive. That was their pretty, basically their first fight that they, they properly took on point there. And uh, Saints, they just had the cards in their favor. And now, look at the Saints. They're already on the next point playing for the defense. And they're going to be a little bit aggressive. They have the time to do so. Now, Mizzo, not going to make any switches. They have the Terror Surge online. They can maybe use that to get some space here, but they have to play this yeah. very, very well. This point should be a little bit better for Mizzo because they can really, they can, they have a much better ability to rotate and kind of force the angles. And it is going to be Suzu being forced out already. Not just going to be looking to chase down Gambit, but Squeak using the Primal Rage is going to take out Backstab, but big source of damage gone for the side of Mizzo. You really need that Sojourn to be able to find the picks. And now, yeah, Clairvoyant is kind of just left on his lonesome as Mizzo, they're all over the place. There's just... They don't seem to know what they, how they want to engage onto this, and Saints are taking advantage of that. They just dive in, push forward, isolate, and destroy. Yeah, if the Saints can get a pick here as well, if they can stagger out some of these squishies, it can be major, but no, the team's back together. And we see Mizzo swap over to the Winston. Just an interesting pick. We haven't seen Saints deal with the Winston Ditto very well, but I think they just might have wisened up to it. Yeah, we had the overclock being popped there from Mizzou, or Mizzou, but it's it's not going to be enough as the picks, they come out in favor of Saints. We're getting up to 50% here, and again, look how messy this fight is. We're nowhere near the point anymore, but still, there's things going on. The Pulse Bomb getting thrown onto Red X, that's actually huge. He didn't have the Suzu or the Swift Step, so it's going to be a kill confirmed there for the side of Gambit. And now the beat being used by Anarchy is going to be what they need to try and push in. Gambit so low, a nice stick isn't quite going to be able to find the kill as Clairvoyant is able to tank it, but we can see Crime here. He's on the side angle, takes Clairvoyant very low. Backstabbutt has gone back to the Echo, so they're going back to their comfort pits, and right away it's seeing success as Backstab is able to find one. Make that a second. Make that a third. Backstab on his Echo, just coming in clutch once again. He did it on Eichenwald, and he's looking to do it again. <laughs> yeah, it's almost ridiculous. Why has he not been playing this Echo more consistently, even if we whipped it on the last map. I feel like he's just so dang consistent and getting so, many, so much value out of it. Now Noxious being taken very low by that Echo. Oh, coming back off. And the Winston already in the back line. They all have to back off. And the other Winston's pushing in. There's the Katsuni Rush trying to break through this line. There's a Primal oh, being committed from... Yeah, M Mizu just goes too low. They don't have to sustain. The the later rush from Redix actually ended up finding more value. Mizu, I think that Mizu, they, they got a little bit too greedy there. They saw an opportunity, but the, the area they were fighting in, it was just, it, it favored St. Clair too much. They didn't have the angles they needed, especially for that Echo to be able to find value. The Saints, they were just able to kite back and then re-engage with a rush of their own. As we are heading down to potentially the final point of the match, if Mizu don't find something, they need to pull something out of the hat here. Yeah, they need to find some tool, some trick, some card up their sleeve to try and turn this one into a win. They are down, and now they need to reverse sweep this entire Flashpoint game. Yeah, Backstab Bud is getting close to the Echo copy, so we'll see if he can come up big with that like he's done in the past. Gambit, though, with a huge opening pick on the Noxious. He gets taken out for it, though, so right now we have a 4v4 scenario. We'll see if these teams want to try and engage on that, or if they just want 
to kind of play it safe, but it's actually going to be backed up by getting caught on his lonesome. No support, no help. Squeak making quick work of that as now Mizu, they do have to back out. They do have to kind of try and play it safe, but Saint, they don't want to let that happen. They're going to push forward and try and put an end to this right here. Make sure they get these stragglers. That mega health pack is going to keep Anarchy alive for a little bit longer, and it is going to force the Primal Rage out of Squeak, but he's probably just going to use that to escape now. As yeah, he knows he can't find these kills. It was able to provide some good ult charge for the side of Mizu, so now maybe they can re-engage quick as the barrier uh, and copy are both online now. These are really good engage ultimates. Yeah, they're now the engagers started here. They're fighting on the edge of this point. Uncontested, no progress being made, but the Saints are dealing with it. There's a copy on yeah. the Winston. Gonna go in on the back line, try and take out this Kiriko, but the sound Squeak barrier's gonna come through. The sound barrier, though, if they can look at Squeak, they might be able to capitalize. Oh, backstab bud. He was so close to the ultimate, but not quite able to find it as the cast right click is just too strong. Crime finds another pick onto Gambit as well. Picks have come through for the side of Mizzou, but is it gonna be enough? Oh, a nice stick from Noxious and Crime using the ult as well. Well, finding another one. This is looking dire for the side of Mizu as now Clairvoyant is going to be using Primal trying to just stall this out this point as long as possible in hopes that his DPS can come back and find picks. He is going to be able to take out Crime, but Noxious takes out Anarchy as well. Now the point flip comes through for Saints and Clairvoyant is going to be trying desperately to get out, get to a safe spot. It goes so low. Saints are going to be trying to chase this down and that's exactly what happens. Squeak dives in, finds the pick. A stick coming through isn't going to be enough to take him out. Now Mizu, Mizu they, they have to scramble as the point percentage is ticking up. Is there going to be anyone to touch? It is going to be the Tracer to touch, but Anarchy goes down. Crime finds another. There is just no one left as Mizu. They put up a great fight, but in the end, it is going to be St. Clair taking the win. 3-0 to zero on Flashpoint. 3-1 yeah, to one in the game. Exactly. They sweep the Flashpoint. A little bit of a misstep on the Eichenwald map, but they managed to regain their composure throughout the series and take this one 3-1. to one. But we have to give props to Backstab Bud on this Echo. He had so many hero moments here. Yeah, he he was able to... Uh, uh, he's a large part why the Mizzou were able to get any points on the board. Like, he he definitely put on his carry pants there, and he, <laughs> he showed us what he was made of. So, you know, it was definitely a great effort. And, you know, Saints, given how we know they're capable of playing, and like we said, they're coming to this game, they're the top seed in the tournament. I think if you're Mizzou, you ha or Mizzou, you have to be happy with how you played against the top seed. Exactly. Against the top seed, even taking a map off of them is a big accomplishment. So props to Mizzou. They played very well, and they brought some of these maps to a very competitive point, especially that uh, the map before this one, the, the push map. It was, it was a very risky play. The yeah. C9 did come through, but before then, we were all getting a little bit worried that, that they maybe were able to flip that one through. But nonetheless, we had some amazing games of Overwatch on show today. Absolutely, yeah. And Saints, you know, I think if you're Saints, you're like, yeah, you did drop that map, but... I, like like we said, there there are probably some external factors that we can kind of chalk that up to. So you're probably feeling very confident as you go into the next few rounds here, because like, like we said, they're looking to absolutely, you know, kind of stamp their place as one of the top teams in collegiate Overwatch right now. And they're putting up performances that show they 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 want that. They definitely are fighting for it. They're gonna make it proven. Yeah, they're looking to prove themselves. But they had an amazing run, and they're gonna continue on this amazing run. But with all that being said, I believe believe that's all we have for today so i'm gonna start to close things out so thank you to everybody in the back it's gonna be amanda and dan holding everything down thank you matt for joining me here up on the desk it's always a joy I'm to happy cast to be with here you. and i'm happy we got some great games to enjoy so exactly it's always fun with overwatch but we're not gonna have another stream for a while it's gonna be a bit of a dry week for us but we're gonna be back here on saturday may 4th so make sure to follow our socials to keep up to date on everything a lot of our saints are playing in the bigger tournaments right now so if you look over on the twitter you'll find links to all those things all the other social medias will keep you up to date as well on everything saints related tournaments events these great new <laughs> competitions championships it'll keep you up to date but we also have to thank our sponsors thank you tim hortons subway hyperx st Clair src and the st Clair college alumni association with all that seeing, being said everybody thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again on saturday bye-bye take care